Good afternoon, everybody. I see in front of me a group of professional speakers. And as speakers, our role is to change people's lives. That's what it's all about. But supposing we take away that title, professional speaker, then who's left? Just ordinary human beings. My question to you is, do you still have a role to play in life? Do you still affect people? Well, I think you do. And I'm going to give you a couple of stories that will demonstrate this. I left school in the 60s at 16. And as a pimply teenager, I went to work in a dark satanic mill in the north of England. I have to tell you, the management there was probably Dickensian. They were from the 1800s and they treated their workers and their employees just, they did, just as they did in Victorian times. Wasn't very pleasant. For instance, I would be standing working at my desk and one of the senior board members would come in and he would stand next to me and if he saw something to my right, he would just push me out of the way like this. He didn't say excuse me, he didn't go around me, he just pushed me out of the way. He didn't even acknowledge my presence. It was a very strange feeling. Another of the directors came in and he said to me, I would like you to do whatever, the following. And I said, right. He exploded. It's not right, it's right, sir, or right, Mr. Hinchliffe. I don't know what possessed me. I said, right. And the guy had apoplexy and stormed out of the room. That was the environment. So the management, their focal point was somewhere to my left or somewhere behind, but not at me. And my co-workers, their focal point was somewhere down on the floor. It was a horrible environment. So to my surprise one day, this guy walks into the office. He was our Scottish representative. His name was Mac. Mac came into the room and he said, Hey, Roy, how nice to see you. Keith, how are you doing, old boy? Yes. Joan, oh, Joan, nice to see you. And Re Rene, Rene, hello. And he came over to me. We haven't met before. Who are you? I'm Godfrey. Godfrey, it's so nice to meet you. And then at that moment, somebody called him and he had to go to another meeting. And Mac disappeared. The next morning, Mac reappears, only to say goodbye. And he came over to me, Godfrey, it's been really lovely to meet you. I hope I'm to see you in six months' time when I come back again. And I felt acknowledged. I felt excited to meet another human being who I felt comfortable with. Mac disappeared. The following morning, I went into the office and about an hour later, one of my colleagues came in and said, did you hear about Mac? No. Mac was killed last night in a road accident. I never saw Mac again. I have to tell you, I've told this story three times and I've got, still got hairs standing up on the arm, my arms. Even today, 50 years later, I still think of Mac 
with, with such sadness about that loss. Now let's jump another 15 years and I'm working in an office in London. It's quite a big office, maybe 15, 16 people and it was a U-shaped desk arrangement. And I walked in every morning, I stood at the door in the middle of the U and I would say, good morning Roy, good morning Keith, hi Joan, hi Rene. And everybody would go, Ooh. they would groan, not him again. I did that for several months. And then one morning, I walked in and I was distracted and I forgot to say good morning. I went to my desk and I started working. And one by one, people came over to me and they said, is everything all right? And I said, what do you mean everything all right? You didn't say good morning. So you see, that simple acknowledgement of people, that simple good morning, does count. It does mean something. When you don't do it, people notice. <laughs>